Did you know that every house is toxic? All these furniture around me, such as the mattress, the table, and even electronics contain flame retardants. Flame retardants are supposed to delay flames in case of a fire. But flame retardants have actually been linked to serious diseases such as cancer and hormone disruption. When our clothes get washed, the flame retardants make their way to the wastewater treatment plants and eventually into our water sources. Last year, a single treatment plant released more than 400 pounds of flame retardants into the Columbia River. Our water bodies have these flame retardants in trace amounts. There are no efficient and economic methods to test for flame retardant pollution in water. My name is Arjun Jain, and in my project, I wanted to see if Vibria fisheri could act as a successful biosensor for flame retardant pollution. Vibria fisheri is a marine luminescent bacterium sensitive to toxins. My theory was that if Vibria fisheri are exposed to flame retardants, it would not illuminate. So, I took a sample of Vibria fisheri from the gut of the squid. I then purified the sample and cultured it in a growth medium. I prepared bacteria samples for testing. For comparison, I also used copper sulfate. I exposed bacteria to different amounts of the contaminants and measured the bacterial luminescence. As expected, bacteria not exposed to any contaminant kept increasing in luminescence. Bacteria exposed to flame retardants showed a sharp decrease in luminescence for all concentrations. The decrease in luminescence was more as the concentration of flame retardants increased. Bacteria exposed to copper sulfate show no or very minor decrease in luminescence for all concentrations. My results showed that Vibrio fisheri can be used as an effective biosensor for flame retardant pollution. Detection is the first step in fighting this pollution. I've come up with a detection method which is very simple, very easy, and very inexpensive compared to current methods.